Okay. <laughs> Just a drop off over there. Okay, we're back. It is the next morning. A little foggy out, but, you know... We can handle that. So I walked through the entire cave system uh, just because I realized I didn't have enough coal to make like the fire last through all of my sleeping. And uh, yeah, I made up a whole bunch of water too. Um, didn't want to use an extra match, so we walked all the way through. Dropped this guy here just a second ago. I, I recorded a whole thing where I was walking away, but then we had 14 liters of water on us, so <laughs> I went back and restarted. But uh, yeah, I'll take this guy now. He'll be a good decoy to drop. So, yeah, we went through the entire cave system. There's nothing real notable. We found a corpse. Didn't have anything on it. And, uh, yeah, now we're here. This is still the far range branch line. So we must be in a different part of that same area. I have no clue how that connects to where we are now, though. So, oh, you know what? This is a... Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> well, that was serendipitous. Um, I think... I feel like we came from this direction. Looks like... Yeah, it looks like there's like a cave-in or something that blocked the tracks by the tunnel. Yeah, that's right. Okay, because we, we, we came through oh, up where that uh, climbing rope was. It was over the, on the other side of that, I think. And there was a cave-in at the tunnel there. I think this is where we're going now. Maybe we're approaching that cave-in now. Yep, okay, I was completely wrong. Facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Well, they weren't lying. The far territory is not very close, it seems. Okay, yeah, this is the way. I assume since I can actually see back here, but over there it was just like rocks. Is this? Oh, I thought that was all firewood for a second. Doesn't that look weird? I feel like that looks weird. Go ahead and drink one of our hot teas. Uh, oh, they cooled off. Great. That's okay. When we get to the end of our, uh, our heat wheel, we'll start another fire real quick and heat up another round of teas. Oh, a moving river. Whoa, that's weird. Very weird to see in the long dark. Crazy. Oh, looks like we've got a friend coming. I think he's actually barking at a rabbit or something right now. Jesus, it's cold. Oh my god, Aster, you scared the shit out of me. These are open. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just closed. Nope, there's an open one down there. Of course you went the longest way around. I've never felt so cold in my life. Oh god. Oh, he's going after a rabbit. That's good because we are super stinky. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on following the train line. It looks like there might be something. Mm, might be like a cave or something over there, but I believe we'll have to come back through this area to get back, um, which we will do eventually. 
Oh, I guess I had a risk of intestinal parasites from eating a uh, piece of wolf meat or something. Definitely got more gloomy out here. Like, I feel like they, they tried to implement that because they didn't like how people could just turn up the brightness to see inside of, like, dark places, but um, I kind of have that situation going on anyways. And I was still able to see in there, so I don't know. It's strange. I, I don't hate it, but I, I guess I don't see the utility of it so much. I'm sure it works better if you have a more appropriate brightness level. But, you know, I'm a little bitch who likes to turn mine up, so. Hmm. Interesting place. Alright, <laughs> we know to check the other side now. No, I think this is just like a coal car or something. For all intents and purposes, it is the landscape to us, so. And now I'm glad I have all these torches. Uh, you know, I, I take back what I said about the gloom. This does have a noticeable effect. Like, outside, you can see further with a torch, I feel like. But in here, and I feel like this is more accurate, uh, closer to reality, too. Like, your torch light only goes so far in front of you. It makes it real hard to see into the distance. So you can see, but you still have to explore stuff. Yep, it's a train tunnel. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's something here. I see a piece of firewood back there. Or, what is that? Oh, it's a block of one of those thingies on the cart. Hey, I knew we were going to find some coal in here. Um, oh, I, I guess I didn't realize that we're still freezing. I just assumed we're warming up. Let's do this right here, so we can actually tear down this limb too. Uh, no, that's that's not that's not gonna help me out. I mean, it will. I'll have heat. Never mind. <laughs> but I I don't have any room, any space to actually pick up the logs and walk with them, and I don't want to hang out there for three more hours. Maybe I do. Maybe I do, actually. I don't know what kind of warmth or, like, wind situation we're going to be walking into, so I think we'll go ahead and do this, yeah. Should be plenty.
Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Because our fire-making level should extend that. Yeah, we're fine. We got three of these. So I'll pop in two, and we'll put this thing down. And we'll just right off the bat go ahead and sleep too. And I suppose we should probably get half a liter of water going. And, uh... Hmm. Yeah, we can't really carry this anyway, so we might as well throw it in there. And the last thing, we'll heat up some teas again. Alright, good to go. Much better walking speed, too. Oh, you know what I just realized? We still have this ski jacket, or a simple parka. What's the difference? Negative 4, negative 2, this is 86, this is 91. Yeah, I think we're just going to drop it. It's not worth it. Same for... No, I need the boots. But we can get rid of this. Nah, I'll keep them. I'll keep them. They don't weigh very much, and we probably want the cloth. But that parka was heavy as hell. How long is this tunnel? Jesus. These tunnels, rather. Still daylight outside, so we'll be able to see. I mean, I guess usually it illuminates it anyways. There we go. Here it is. Hopefully it's not... Well... Yeah, yeah, please. Let's leave it. I guess this was the transition to the next area. I feel like that was... Yeah, transfer pass. Okay, so we're not in the... Oh, God, what is it? Um, I cannot remember. Forsaken Airfield. Something like that. I called it the Forlorn Airfield, but Forsaken Airfield, I think is what it's called. So we're still not there. Um, that's okay. I'm, I'm all hyped to check out all the new areas. <laughs> Can't you hear the excitement in my voice? Damn, that's a lot of rocks. Alright. Looks like this is going to be a lot more wide open of an area. Go up and around it? No. I wonder how long we're going to keep that 100% torch. Like, you think I'd be inclined to just go ahead and use it, but nope. I'm. <laughs> I wonder how many days we're going to have it. I don't think we can get through right here. No. Mm, oh, not coal. I thought this was coal. Well, 
Well, it's not windy, so I guess I'm thankful for that. And we got more firewood to pull more torches, so I think we'll be okay. Oh, and look here. Here's some of the, the new oak trees. Instead of all these pines that we're used to. Oak trees. So, uh, I guess we should be looking for the new plant material, the burdock. Uh, I don't even know what that is in real life. So, I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I'm guessing it's going to be at least mildly noticeable. Yeah, I'm just going to keep following the train tracks. I feel like that's the move right now. Unless we see something, like, really obviously um, intriguing off in the distance. I think we're going for that. I say as I walk off the train tracks. Um, seeing if there's any cattails over here. I, I definitely want to pick any of those up just the minute I see them because they're, you know, good forever. It's just food we can have sitting in our inventory, not decomposing. Don't need tender anymore. Do we need tender? No. Okay. So no point in taking the cattail heads anymore for the whole rest of the game. I kind of wish that um, if you used tender, like a tender plug or um, a cattail head, when you didn't need to, it would give you an extra like 2 or 3% chance of success, but not how the game works, sadly. Can't tell if that black dot up there was something or a tree trunk. Looks like it's just a tree trunk. Do you want to kind of stay a little bit on the edge here just so I can see stuff that's around? I don't see very many, like, cat... I mean, I do see cattail stuff out there, but I think... It's just, uh, just ornamental ones, not actually, like, edible ones. <laughs> edible and ornamental cattails. Like, it's like a gardening variety. I don't think any of these are either. Should be some in this one. Already see some. Alright, good. No? Thought I saw some in there. Got something up here. Like a refueling station or something. Coal loading station, maybe. Not a not a locomotive engineer, so. <laughs> we'll we'll come back for all of these. I'm just grabbing these two right here, I guess. Let's check out the actually interesting stuff. Like this wood. No. Oh, coal. Hell yeah. Come on, Hinterland. You can't, like, hide a permanent fire striker in there for me. Hey, we got a building. Nice. Let's see what's up here, and then we'll check out this stuff. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. I'm sure there's stuff up here on other difficulties. Um, whoa, only 20 minutes for two reclaimed wood and a scrap metal? I wonder if there's stuff underneath those, too. We'll come back for that uh, when we have lower heat. Doesn't look like there's much in here. Cloth on the floor? No. <laughs> Just snow. 
coming through the floor. Oh shit, our torch. Let's uh let's pop in here real quick, see if there's a fireplace or something. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh god. No, ah, so close. Christ. Oh man, that sucks. Alright, well I'm not gonna start a fire with a new match yet unless we absolutely have to. Oh god damn it. Should have been paying closer attention to that. We are already in that one. Well, let's go cut down or break down one of these barrels and see if there's anything in those. I'm guessing if there are, they're going to be in the ones that are up here versus like the ones that are down there. But uh, there may just not be anything in these. We'll see. Nope. Not that one, at least. Let's see what's going on inside here, and then I guess inside this thing, too. Assuming we can get inside of it. So I guess this isn't, uh, I mean, it, I was going to say this isn't in explorable space, but uh, meaning that it, it doesn't have a loading zone to go into here, but I think this may just be part of the better bases system because I'm still warming up in here. It's clearly not as cold as like a normal building God, that you would uh, encounter that doesn't have a loading zone. Not a whole lot of notable stuff. Just, uh, just a little train station kind of area, I guess. Socks. Don't think we need him. Yeah, we already got socks. Let's see if we can get inside this thing now. Actually, wait, do we have a, no, we just have matches, right? Yeah. I have a magnifying glass on my other save, so I was thinking we might have one of those, but it's not bright enough to do that anyways. Not that I think they put ladders in the game that you can actually climb, but obviously we couldn't climb that anyways. Wow, that is a uh, hefty height up there. Did I say I hate being cold? Cause it oh, we gotta keep our uh, our calories up so we can uh, get that well-fed bonus. I think we can get up on this ridge from over there. That's too steep. Yeah, this looks like it might work. I've never been so hungry in my life. There we go. A lot more cattails up here. We'll get those later, though. Oh, uh, yeah, and these are cold, too. Of course, that would have been a smart idea to, you know, use the hot teas that I made, but... Hmm. Oh, I thought that was a bed roll. <laughs> it's a wheel well. 
Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, we can get in here. Do I? If I don't, we'll warm up soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just a drop off over there. Okay. Yep, and that's a very large drop off. Whoa, hundred percent, eighty nine percent. Running a lot of uh, really well conditioned torches. Don't think there's anything else in here though. Damn, that sucks. Can I make a fire here? I can. Hmm. I think I need to go back to the other building though to actually make the fire. Um, that one is definitely warmer than this, so. Hmm. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm hesitant to go forward further without seeing if, uh, there's, like, another sheltered area, so... I think we're gonna go back here and spend the night here and then in the morning go back and uh, you know keep keep going forward so once again I will see you guys here in just a couple minutes <laughs> 